Okay, give me some, give the viewers some feedback on your recruiting um, experience. I know that's that's one of the best times of being an athlete when you have schools that want you to, to come to come to your to, to their institution. Oh man, that was uh, I mean that's pretty cool, you know. I mean when you get letters from pretty much all the Big Ten schools, um, Nebraska. Tennessee, you know, some of them more interested in me than others. Northern Illinois, Louisville was pretty much interested. Indiana, Purdue, um, it was just a nice time. You know, I used to take all the letters and put them up on my room door and like show them off when everybody, yeah. you know, come off, come over to my house. They yeah. would see who was recruiting me and stuff like that. But uh, I mean, it felt good, man. It, it felt real good just to know that, uh, you know, I can potentially have a full ride scholarship. To a big school and not have to pay a dime yeah. was like wow. It yeah. really was, you know, because you hear how much college education is, and it's like, well, you know, you're gonna be able to get an education from any one of these schools, and they're gonna pay for it. So it was like wow. And then you know, um, taking the the visits, yeah. you know, get my mother out of town. What evening yeah. she had not been a whole lot of places, and you know, she had flew dad flew him down to uh, Louisville and. You know, the trip up to Wisconsin, um, Michigan State, I visited. They only took three visits, Louisville, Wisconsin, and Michigan State. Wow. And, um, you know, just, just the recruiting process is, like, huge. You know, you're seeing all these other players you were seeing on TV the prior year. And, you know, you're going out there showing you campus and campus live. Yeah. The yeah. good and the bad. <laughs> You know, but uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was it was it was it was fun, man. I I enjoyed it. You know, young young eighteen young eighteen year old kid. You know, coming out. Of, I don't even think I was eighteen. That I was just uh, I had not even turned eighteen yet. Seventeen year old kid. You know, going to those places and you know coming from East Chicago and it it, it was good, man. I yeah. really enjoyed it. Every every bit of it, I enjoyed. Yeah. yeah. Were you pressured into going to Division One? Because I, I say that real quick because I know when we played. We, we we was it was pressure on us to go D1 because we want to feel like we was sorry you know although now it's different but during that time it was a lot of pressure on us to to get a, a Division One scholarship did you feel the, the uh, same way? No man I didn't know what to expect out of football when I first you know started like I said you know Big Rob kind of set it off you know just the whole process of thinking like I can do it too um, but I, it, it it wasn't any pressure you know I just wanted to play hard. Every game, and you know what what came out of it came out of it, and, and you know it was good that Big Rod was getting recruited. And then the year before me, Voice Love and Pink stuff, because they was coming to see those other players, and I just must have caught the eye, gotcha. you know. So without those other players, I probably wouldn't win D1 because it it's not like East Chicago had a well known program where all the recruiters just want to see what's coming through Central every year. They mm -hmm. were coming to see those players at that time and caught a glimpse of me, so. You know, uh, no, it wasn't no pressure, man. I was just playing football and having fun and, and enjoying the success and stuff that we was having. Okay. So you picked the University of Wisconsin. Yeah, no doubt. The Why? Why? Well, you know, um, at that time, tell you the truth, I, I didn't even know Wisconsin was in the Big Ten, man. They they kind of came and started. Recruiting. I see the ring right there, too. Yeah. This is this is from the 94 Rose Bowl. And, uh. Hopefully it bring them some good luck today on the on the on the 2012 against yeah. the, the Oregon Ducks. <laughs> but uh, um, um, oh Wisconsin, yeah. Uh, again, I didn't even know they was in the Big Ten at first, and again they came. They started recruiting me late, but Coach E had told us like he was saying this Barry Alvarez that came from Notre Dame. He gonna be a good coach, and that's gonna be a good program. And uh, you know, I think Coach E. New Coach Cos. Coach Coswell was a uh, linebackers coach at the time at the UW, and I think him and Coach E may have crossed doing the coaching ranks back in Illinois Benedictine when Coach E was coaching out in Illinois and stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. Coach Cosgrove and Coach Callahan and, and Coach Childress yeah. had the Chicago area. You know, Coach Childress was the head coach of the Vikings. Minnesota Vikings, yeah. and uh, Callahan uh, took the Raiders. To the to the Super Bowl and end up being the head coach at Nebraska for wow. a few years. So they was all recruiting the area, and um, he just told us that this place was going to be big one day, 
yeah. you know, just not now, but they was going to be big, and we just didn't know how soon they was going to be big, but yeah. it ended up being sooner than a lot of people thought, but Madison is a real nice, it's a real nice experience, and just the recruiting process there, yeah. you know, was real, uh, it was real nice, man, um, they just, they just showed us that they really wanted us, you know, just like the hotels they had us laid out in, and the stuff that they had in our rooms when we checked into the hotel. I mean, they had my mother and my stepfather and a whole separate presidential suite, mm. you know, and they rolled them around the limos, you know, and That's crazy. we had met uh, mm. Donna Shalala at that time, was the, was the chancellor at the UW, and she ended up being um, the secretary of human services to, to President Clinton in yeah. his cabinet. So I was seeing these people and these prestigious people and meeting them right here in Madison, and it's like, Almost everybody from our recruiting class came on that one weekend, you know, visited Wisconsin that one weekend, and we ended up having like the eighth and ninth recruiting class in the country that year, which was kind of unheard of for the University of Wisconsin, you know, to bring in that type of talent. So we were all there one weekend, like Carl McCullough, uh, me and Royce was there, Tony Simmons, Reggie Toy, and Daryl Carter. Uh, Pete Monty, Tark Sala, I mean, almost my whole recruiting class was there that one weekend. It seemed, we must have all just bonded that weekend in jail, and, you know, all of us end up committing a short while later. Wow. Yeah. Give us some um, feedback on the competition now, because, you know, you know, you went from being the man at Central, now you still, oh, man. Just, yeah. Just the man <laughs> yeah. college, right? Yeah, yeah. I, it, man, it was, uh... It was tough at first because, you know, just like with track and football, you just, I was just used to being the fastest. You know, when you get there, you, I wasn't the fastest, not even like, you know, I, I can hold my own. But yeah. there were some guys that had some wheels, like a kid from Chicago named Kerwin Beatty. This kid ran like a 10-2 in high school. Uh -huh. And, you know, you had Reggie Torrey and Tony Simms. They came from Chicago, too, and they was like respectively the two fastest kids in the country coming to play football, too. So it was wow. like... Wow. But it's just if you're a competitor, you're a competitor. So yeah. if I was gonna be competing and running against them every day, I was just making myself better. Cause I, you know, I just I, I I like to be just as good as the person that's next next to me, no matter what it is I'm doing, education wise or athletic wise. You know, I'm a competitor. So it w it was good to have that competition there for me, and I, I think I got a lot better. You know, my my freshman year there, and you know, all my years there, I got a, a, a lot better with the competition, but. You, you you just see you know different parts of the country where people was coming from to play football like wow it's it's like a lot of talent out there a lot of talent a lot of fast kids a lot of big kids I get to Wisconsin I'm seeing linemen it's like six seven three hundred plus pounds yeah. I want used to see a man that big yeah you know <laughs> and it's a whole bunch of them. yeah <laughs> you know and Terrell Fletcher was there but Moss was there Lee Deramus. I mean, just just that it, it was a lot of players there, and just in the Big Ten in general, you know. Yeah. Tyrone Wheatley was still tearing up Michigan State. Oh man, yeah. George, uh, um, uh, Eddie George Ohio State. was at Ohio State. Joey Galloway, Terry Glenn. I mean, you had a lot of players in the Big Ten at that time, you know. So it was like, wow, you know. I was still kind of starstruck the first year, but I was still competing, you yeah. know, to play because I know, you know, I was starting to see. These college players around me, it's like I was saying in high school, oh, okay, well, you're not super human. Yeah. I know I can be just as good as you. You know, now I see what you can do. I, I know I can do that too. Exactly. You know, so.